All right. So something else that I wanted to talk to you about was um, last year, you said that like without weed, you felt like your mind was a lot clearer and you spoke a lot about being sober. Mm -hmm. um, are you still sober? Yeah. Okay. Um, and what made you make that decision to be sober? It just, I, I really had uh, got locked up. But then like when I got, when I stopped smoking, it was just like, I ain't need it no more. Like I didn't need it. And I just, everything I was getting done without getting high just made me feel like I'm thinking clear. I'm getting shit done. Like I know when I get high, like I fuck around, go to sleep, have something to do. And I'm knocked out. Like, and then when I start, I tried to get high one, one to last time and shit made me so paranoid. I'm like, this shit is just not, not for me. you no more. And I know Sada Baby actually spoke about his sobriety a few days ago. Um, so shout out to him for that. Very proud of that. Um, do you think that it's difficult in this industry to stay sober when it's like so drugs and liquor and everything is they're just so accessible? Or do you feel like depends on how strong your mind is. Mm. Like, like some people fall to peer pressure. Some people have like addictive personalities. Mm -hmm. I I just happen to be don't. I'm blessed. Like mm -hmm. I um I sit in the car. They smoke. Do all the type of shit around me. I don't I don't fall to it because like I don't need it. Like I be high off life. I'm genuinely happy with my life for real. For real. Like I'm blessed. Like be. I came Love a long way. And you know. Krishan Rock the other day, she was saying that she wasn't drinking before she met Blueface and when she was on his show, like, that's when she really started drinking. And so that's why I was wondering, like, is it a challenge to stay sober in this industry? Because now, like, people associate her so heavily with liquor, but before she got in this industry, she really wasn't drinking or anything like that. So I, I mean, it's like, interesting it's like, to see how you think about that. You got to think, like, they partying all the time. Like, this industry, like, you got to party all the time. That's part of it. Like, I be bored in a club, like, want to drink, want to smoke, but it's just be like, I'm here for a reason. I'm more so here to get paid, to have fun. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie. Like, sometimes I drink, like, occasionally. Like, last night I went to Starless. I had a drink. But, mm -hmm. like, I really a hold the same clip for three hours, for real, for real. I ain't really drinking. Not you babysitting, but sure. but I understand I understand why. So, okay. Um, so I know we only got a little bit of time, but I know your fans definitely want to know this. You got a lot of ladies mm -hmm. in your fan base, mm -hmm. and they the, the ladies love Skilla, okay? So talk to us about your dating life. What is that looking like? You single? You I'm working. You working. For sure. Hard. Okay. Hard as hell. Okay. So, when you not working, we know that you like your ladies 21 and up. 26. 26 and up. I, yeah. I don't know why I said 21. 26 and up. But is there anything else that you look for in a lady, um, like, when you're dating? If you know, you know. See, you was calling me weird. Don't be weird. That ain't weird. If you know, you know what? If you know, you know, you either got it or you don't. Damn. Sorry, y'all. I tried to pull it out of him. He, all right. Well, you somebody. weird. That was messy. How was that messy? Because like they want to know. Because you tried to make it easy for him. Yeah, because they want to know. They all down your timeline. They, they be tagging you. You got the ladies like, all I want for my birthday is a happy birthday from Skilla. Like, they happy birthday really... from Skilla. Well, there you go, baby girl. <laughs> um, but then also, if you want to talk messy, there was a girl who posted a screenshot of you, like, trying to shoot your shot or something like that. She was trying to say that you was trying to shoot your now shot. Now, that was Kat. I got the screenshot right here of our messages. I just. Yeah, because it was, it was floating around the social. Somebody just sent that to me and tried to cuss me out for real, for real. And it's really if you getting cursed out over screenshots, that means you doing more than working. So I, mean, I caught you. What you mean? I ain't gay. Like <laughs> I ain't gay. Like I talk to females. Like, like you no. think I? What did you think I'm supposed to like not talk to people? Like so that's why you wasn't saying what you was interested in because you got somebody that would be upset if they heard you. Of course, okay. everybody got somebody. See, that's all you had to say. I don't you get what you saying difficult. though. I don't get what you're saying. Look at the screenshot. All right. I, save it. Oh. That, girl, <laughs> that girl did a fake screenshot. Okay. So how do you feel about that, though? Like, is there a certain way and that I got in artists... Trouble. Huh? I got in trouble. Damn. My mama called me. Wow. Do you feel like there's a certain way that artists should, like, 
go about like handling situations like that because that's happening a lot now like no. where the screenshots get to fly in on the social media i troll like, her ass on twitter i told her i put a big ass blue cap right there i saw but i mean like moving forward like does that keep you from like shooting a shot in dms do no. you save it for, okay. if i want to do it i'm gonna do it if i did it i would have said i did it like i, I oh, okay i look like a little ass girl man I don't yeah. do mess with little girls. Twenty six and up, y'all. I don't mess with little girls. I don't do that. Like okay, okay. I don't care how pretty you is. None of that. I'm like grown ass women. I ain't. Okay. Well, there y'all go, guys. It's Taylor. Make sure you follow us for more exclusives at www.talkofthetownshow.com. Like, comment, and subscribe.